Spouts Ahoy! Yo, Madison! Are you ready to get down and get wet? We're going under the sea to meet some fun-loving animals who really know how to make a splash. Dolphins, whales, and their babies. So hit your video zapper and let's take the plunge. We'll go to the ice-cold Arctic to find humpback whales who are the long-distance swimming champs. Strange narwhals that have swords for noses. And make way for the biggest animal in the world, the blue whale. If you're near a beach, a whale or dolphin might be living right next door. So get ready to spot some killer, killer whales. Chatty bottlenose dolphins who really know how to get around. And the sleekest speed demons of all, the common dolphins of the Mediterranean. Then we'll journey to some of the world's great rivers. Try Southeast Asia for one high-jumping dolphin. In the Amazon, visit a bato who's in the pink. Or maybe the north to see a ghostly beluga whale. Here comes that big blue whale. How big is he? Try 100 feet long. That's the size of four school buses. He weighs as much as 25 elephants. That's a ton of blubber. Maybe you should consider a diet. Now, dolphins run a little smaller. Not much blubber here. Are those underwater ghosts? Nah, they're belugas. But when you hear them sing, you'll call them canaries of the sea. So let's flip out with this river dolphin and see what it's all about. Meet the family. Whale and dolphin families come in all sizes. This Amazon River Dolphin, the Bato, and her baby come from a small family. They both look gray in the murky water, but would you believe mom is pink? When her baby grows up, she'll turn pink too. Here's a big baby humpback whale riding piggyback on her mother. Can you see why they're called humpbacks? Right, there's a hump on their back. The humpback mom has only one baby, or calf, a year. Her baby can weigh one and a half tons at birth, so at that size, one is still a big family. Do you think that male whale is their bodyguard? Well, if it isn't the ghostly belugas. That baby is gray to blend in with the murky waters, but in five years, he'll turn as white as the Arctic ice. Do you know what belugas do if they get caught under the ice? they bash their heads through for a breath of fresh air. <laughs> now that's a real headbanger. They swim just below that icy surface, which makes them really hard to spot. There are usually three to a beluga family, but they travel in packs made of hundreds. These are common dolphins, commonly found in the Mediterranean, but there's nothing common about the size of their families. Would you believe over a thousand? <laughs> they win the biggest family award, Flippers Down. Who's the weirdest looking whale? Narwhals, or unicorns of the sea. Like unicorns, narwhals have swords for noses. Except that's not their real nose. It's a tooth. They use that sword for finding food. But a good sword fight isn't out of the question. On guard! Only the adult males get swords. Moms and babies have blunt noses. That's a lot of gnarly narwhals galloping through the sea. On the 
Kamu. Check out this sandy Hawaiian beach. What better place to spend the winter? And that's just what these humpback whales do. They go south to raise their families. During the entire season, mom won't eat. She's too busy looking after her new baby. Instead, she'll live off the food she stored as blubber. After about four months, when the babies are strong enough to travel, the whole family will head north to the Arctic for a well-deserved meal. <laughs> that means the hallway between the nursery and kitchen is 3,000 miles long. <laughs> it sure is a long swim just for dinner. So, how do these humpbacks find their way across all that ocean? No one really knows. It's their big secret, and they're not telling. Hey, that's not a whale. It's a boat. Whales have figured out that by using a boat's wake, they can get extra speed. It's an easy way to get a free ride on a long trip. Nothing like a tail fluke to say thanks or give a friendly wave goodbye. Watch out or you'll get soaked. The humpback not only travels the farthest of all whales, but he can make his own waves. Ah, home at last. How fast do dolphins and whales swim? Humpbacks swim slowly. But these speedy Mediterranean dolphins are experts at a fast game called bow riding. They surf on a boat's waves and effortlessly travel 30 to 40 miles per hour. So put your flippers together for the fastest sea mammal of all, the dolphin. Animal talk. What's he making waves about? It's called lobtailing, and it's one way dolphins and whales communicate. Whales and dolphins speak and sing to each other all the time, like this. Give that beluga a hand. Whales and dolphins use their singing to alert other whales, find their way around, or just say hello. <laughs> They're underwater rock stars. Each whale group has its own range of songs and whale words. Let's sit back and listen. This deep sea Don Juan is one of the best singers. Humpback males are often seen following a female and her baby, gargling their love songs to their underwater dreamboats. May the best whale win. This bubble-blowing blowhard thinks he's won the prize. Blowing bubbles tells other males to hit the road, but it ain't over till the fat whale sings. Who 
who's the king of the clickers? The dolphin. Their clicks and whistles can be heard long distance. But dolphins also use these sounds to find things to eat without using their eyes. Their clicks echo off unsuspecting fish. <laughs> That's really singing for your supper. Whales and dolphins don't need swimming lessons. This baby Bato is already in the swim of things. But babies do need to be taught to fish. After 10 months of nursing, they have to find their own food. <laughs> There's no free lunch. Mom will show her babies how to catch fish. Then it's time to go solo. Another lesson for a baby whale, learning to breathe. Mom pushes her baby to the surface to make sure he's getting air. Then, once he's got it right, he'll swim to the surface alone and breathe while mom watches. Looks like he's got the right idea. Which whale do you think can hold its breath the longest? Sperm whales. Just guess how long they can stay underwater. An hour and a half. They can also dive one and a half miles straight down for their favorite snack, giant squid. <laughs> Learning the hard way. Have you ever gotten lost? That's what happened to these young gray whales. They got trapped under the ice in Alaska. Luckily for them, whale lovers from around the world came to help. They cut through the ice so the whales could surface and breathe. Then, the whales' friends cut a path to the sea, which let them find their way home. People are learning that to save the whales, we must all work together. Meanwhile in Australia, the land down under, these false killer whales took a wrong turn and got stuck on the beach. Good thing whale watchers can become whale helpers. Let's hope they have the right map. Well, they're safely back on course. Do dolphins and whales like people? You bet. Dolphins seem to love swimming with people. Some divers can get very close. Who better to give a guided tour of the beautiful sea than a dolphin? Looks like this dolphin wants to play tag. Or maybe he's trying to figure out why that diver needs an air tank. All dolphins need to do to stay underwater is hold their breath.
Dolphins really like kids, too. This boy knows a fish in hand is a quick way to make a new friend. Dinner time. Whether in an aquarium or out in the ocean, young whales feed on mom's milk, just like this baby killer whale, or orca. Usually, an orca baby will nurse for a full year before catching its first fish. Here's something you rarely see, a humpback baby nursing in the wild. Looks like we hit some rough seas. <laughs> that baby's about to get a milkshake. What a mouth! These humpbacks are lunge feeding. They come straight up out of the water with their mouths wide open and lunge at fish on the surface. Open wide! Holy mackerel! Seagull had better watch it, or he'll get his wings clipped. Okay, who's blowing bubbles at the dinner table? Oh, it's just humpbacks doing something called bubble netting. Humpbacks blow huge bubbles, which trap the fish like a net. Then they sneak under the bubbles and gobble them all up. Very few whales have teeth. Humpbacks don't. Instead, they use special bay leaves to let water out and keep fish in. That mouth can open 15 feet wide. He could swallow the whole dining room. Killer whales go out for dinner in packs. They'll eat almost anything the sea has to offer, from herring to seals. and they have the teeth to handle the job. Dolphins also swim around in large groups hunting for food. You can often see them hanging out with tuna because they all like the same foods. When fishermen go after tuna, they have to be careful not to catch dolphins too. That's why special dolphin safe nets are so important because they let dolphins swim free. <laughs> bath time. <laughs> Why would a whale need a bath to get clean? Here's one whale who knows. It's called breaching. Whales leap out of the water to knock off all those pesky sea pests. That's a baby humpback learning to breach. Whales also seem to like giving baths. <laughs> Looks like the joke's on them. Gotcha. Why are killer whales called killers? They sure seem friendly, don't they? To people, they are. They just got the name killer from some fishermen who spotted orcas hunting dinner. So, unless you're a fish, you have nothing to worry about. Look at the teeth on these two. Aren't you glad they like people?
<sighs> Bedtime. Do whales and dolphins ever sleep? Not exactly. They can't sleep like us because they have to keep swimming and coming up for air. But whales and dolphins have a special trick. These amazing animals can shut off half their brain. This lets them swim, hop to the surface for air, and catch 40 winks, all at the same time. You might call it daydreaming, but in their case, it's more like sleep swimming. Whales and dolphins sometimes sleep with one eye open when they travel in pods. They take turns sleeping and navigating. Sometimes, sleeping whales are even caught snoring. I'm not going to tell them to roll over. Story time. Long, long ago in ancient Greece, it was believed that dolphins were once people who had been turned into dolphins by a god with magical powers. The legend tells of a Greek god named Dionysus, who took a ship out to sea, headed for the Greek island of Naxos. But he soon discovered that the boat was a pirate ship. When those pirates found out that Dionysus had magic powers, they decided to make him their prisoner. So they pulled up their sails, tied up Dionysus, and set a course for their hideout. Well, Dionysus summoned up all his strength, all his magic, and threw the bad pirates overboard. But Dionysus was a good god. So just when the pirates hit the water, he turned them into dolphins. For the rest of their lives, these pirates would have to swim the vast oceans, helping to save people who were drowning. And do you know, to this very day, there are still reports of dolphins who have bravely saved people in trouble at sea. Playtime. Three, two, one. Whoa, there he goes. Hey, come back. Please? Pretty please? Thank you. Here's one great leaper, the bottlenose dolphin. He can jump up to 12 feet. Let's see that one again. <laughs> Betty can slam dunk too. This baby killer whale is having a wild time spinning around, just like this beluga. It's called spy hopping, and it's a good way to check out the scene. <laughs> it's also a good way to get dizzy. Hey, didn't his mom tell him it's not polite to spit? Mischief time. This looks like a recipe for trouble. One curious dolphin and one kayaker minding his own business. Hey, this is no place for a splash fight. Here's mischief recipe number two. One part playful dolphin and a dashing windsurfer. 
Oh, I think that dolphin is cooking up a little surprise. First, we pick up some speed. Get ready. Get set. Get wet. The dolphin is having the last laugh here. Since it's all fun and games, they'll shake fins and make up. <laughs> Imagine trying to windsurf with an 800-pound dolphin. Amazing feats! We've met some awesome whales and dolphins. Can you remember who's the big mouth that blows the biggest bubbles? Right, the humpback. The best leapers are those friendly killer whales. Would you believe they can jump 44 feet? But who's the whale with the biggest tail? The blue whale. He's as long as four school buses. What about the long distance swimming champ? Yep, it's that slow but steady humpback again. And who are those ghostly whales with the ice cracking heads? Belugas. If you like the show, then jump for joy, and we'll see you next time. Watch for Madison and his magic zapper. He'll pop up again with a whole world full of animal friends for you. We'll be rolling, running, and swimming together real soon on your Growing Up Wild Adventures. <laughs>